Brown live and direct again. Guys, who can tell? Who can guess and tell me tomorrow? Tomorrow, what will be happening tomorrow? Tomorrow is a big day for Ben Brown. A very, very big, big day for Ben Brown. Wonderful day for Ben Brown. Who can tell me what that day is? Who can guess? Guys, remember to like my video. Subscribe to my video, those who don't subscribe as yet. And ring that notification bell. And thumbs up. Like my videos, guys. And what? Share my videos. Please share my videos. Tomorrow is Bev Brown big day. If you die, guys can't guess, I'm not going to tell you. Wait until that day come along. Okay? So, guys, I'm going to take you back to a Bible character. And this is not a prophet. This is someone who was very, very sick back then in those days. She spent all her money and and the illness that she um that was troubling her all her money was spent she was left penniless no money she have left and she didn't get well she was still sick still suffering with that illness that have taken play, play, um, all of her plaguing her her whole life many many years this lady suffered with this sickness and all the doctor that she went couldn't help her. Only one doctor in the world that was qualified to help this lady. But guess what? In those days, because of the illness that she had, she was an outcast. She couldn't go into this sanctuary. She couldn't go to church. She couldn't go in the marketplace. She couldn't be found in crowd. Crowds, she have to stay by herself. So... She heard about this man, Jesus. And she always hear people telling stories of Jesus, all that he have been doing, healing the sick, doing a lot of good things for her. So she listened and she tried her best how to reach this man, Jesus. Because of her illnesses, she have to stay away from the crowd, as I said. Because people look, look down on her, they scan her, you know. And she, you know, when people scan you and, and don't want you to come near them or you, you would have feel, felt. So that's how she felt. So she stayed away from the crowd, from the street, from the church, from the marketplace, from stores, from supermarket. But she hear about this man and she's trying her best. How can she reach King Jesus? So listen to this story, guys. Let's go. Okay, so my topic is issues of blood. A certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Can you imagine for 12 long years she was suffering with these sicknesses? Sickness. She suffered many things. Went to many doctors. She spent all she had and didn't get better. And she instead of getting better, she got she got worse. When she heard about Jesus, she come, she come, she came pressing behind and touched. His garment and her fountain of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her plague. So, but just pushing through the crowd, you know, and she shouldn't be in the crowd. But in faith, faith, faith can do move mountain. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, guys, you can move mountain. That's what Jesus said. And this lady read her Bible, heard, heard about Jesus, and put of that faith in King Jesus, knowing that touching the M, just the M of his garment, she can be healed. Who can have such faith? Do we have those faith, uh, such faith like this lady? I don't think so. Jesus said, who touched me? Because Jesus knows something went out of him. Jesus knows someone touched the M of his garment. Though the place was crowded. His disciple was saying, how can you have so touch you when so many people bouncing about? You understand? But Jesus is Jesus and you know what happened. He's God. Jesus fixed his eyes upon her who has done this. She was filled with fear. Great joy was hers. But, that, but as she overstepped her duty, knowing what was done in her, she came trembling and fell at Jesus' feet 
and told him the truth. Je um, Christ did not reproach her. He gently said, Go in peace and be hold of thy plague. That was, that was the touch of faith. Yes, so Jesus tell her, Don't be afraid. Go in peace, my daughter, and be hold of that plague. Because Jesus knew exactly what was happening to her. Prayers and preaching without exercising of living faith in God will be in vain. So if we are praying and we are preaching and we are telling others of God, but we don't have that faith in us, it is in vain. In, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Um, guys, Jesus said, Abide in me and hide in you, as the branches cannot bear fruit of itself. Except it abide in the vine, no more can he uh, um, except he abide in me and I in you. The same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me he can do nothing. So Jesus was saying, just like how the um, branches cannot do with the vine, cannot do without the branches cannot do without the vine, so we cannot do without him, you know. We have to abide in him. In those, in those days, having bleeding problem, people scanned, scanned her, and she could not go out, as I said, to church places or anywhere at all where other people were. People looked down on her. So that day she said, enough is enough. So that day in the crowd, when she see the crowd moving and she saw Jesus, she tell herself, uh, enough is enough. I can't take this bleeding problem anymore jesus i heard is a healer and i'm going to touch the hem of his garment so she with faith in her in her she put up all what she can and resisted because everybody look alike so they didn't know that this was a woman with the issue of blood coming beside them so she said enough is enough with faith in god she went into the crowd she shouldn't be there no she should be in the crowd but in faith she went and touched jesus garment in her bleeding state she should not touch jesus that why that's why she was trembling with fear when jesus said who touched me because with her bleeding problem she shouldn't have touched jesus garment but because of faith to tell herself she tell herself that touching the hem of jesus garment it will make her whole. You see how she believed in Jesus? The faith that this lady did have in Jesus? Yes, man. That's the faith God wants us to have in him also. You know, to put our trust, don't care what circumstances we find ourselves in, not to give up, but to have faith. God said, if, if our faith is just as small as a little mustard seed, seed we can move mountain, mountains. And you see this lady move mountains because of her faith. And knowing that if she touched Jesus' garment, she will be holed from her plague. The bleeding problem that plagued, plagued her for 12 long years. Can you imagine bleeding for 12 long years? Oh my God. And she's been to so many doctors. Spent all that she have on doctor and none could get her better. She was an outcast. Everybody looked down on her. And she heard about Jesus and she said, with faith, I am going to touch Jesus' garment. So when Jesus said, who touched me? And Peter and Paul and John, everyone was looking at him with this may, in this may and saying, how can you say, who touched you? When the crowd is so thick, Jesus said, who touched me? Jesus know exactly what he felt that day, that something left from him. Because in faith that lady touched him and she was healed. She was trembling. She was afraid because Jesus said, who touched me? And she knows she did it and she shouldn't have touched Jesus' garment. And in fear, she thinks Jesus was going to be angry with her. Because she didn't make the man Jesus as yet to know loving and caring and kind he was. So she was trembling with in fear. But she, and she said, I did in trembling, kneeling down at Jesus' feet. I touched you. I did it. And Jesus said, daughter, your faith had me, had, had made you whole. Your, 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 you know? So 
she was afraid that Jesus was going to insult her and deal with her real bad, harshly. But Jesus was so loving, so kind, so caring. Uh, can we find someone so loving and caring on this earth? Can we find such persons? I don't know. You tell me. You will find people loving and caring, yes, but not as how Jesus was. Mm -mm. No. And that's how we should follow Jesus' example and try to, instead of scorning people that we see sometimes, we go into the bus and we, someone comes sit beside us, they close maybe dirty or so, and we look down on them and we, you know, not, don't want them to brush on us or to, you know, yeah, we are all guilty. I'm guilty too. I'm not casting stone. Jesus know our heart. You know what we did. But then we have to say we are sorry. Because enough time when I'm in the bus for back then, and someone, I'm in my clean, clean clothes, worse if I'm white and someone dirty, you know, can sit beside me, I, I kind of pull away that they don't touch me. And that's not nice, no, that wasn't nice. Jesus wasn't pleased with Bev Brown. So we, we are all guilty of certain things. So guys, let us look back into ourselves, search ourselves and try to treat others as we'd like others to treat us, okay? So guys, remember to like my video. Subscribe. Who doesn't subscribe? Please subscribe to Bev Brown videos and share them with family members, friends all around. Send around my videos, man. Right around the world. I need subscribers, guys. I need many, many more subscribers. Please, guys. Can you help out Bev Brown? Do that for Bev Brown. And tomorrow, tomorrow, guys, is Bev Brown big day. Who can tell? Who can tell? Bev Brown, big day tomorrow. Yes, guys. A big day coming up for Bev Brown tomorrow. Okay, guys. Love you guys. Remember to like my video, share my video. And those who doesn't subscribe, please subscribe to Bev Brown video. Bev Brown, inner ear and outer ear. Mwah. Love you guys. Peace out. Bev Brown said that. Yeah.